The Democrats officially out of excuses for Joe Biden. His administration is a complete mess and has been since day one. And the only way out, they know, is another candidate. Biden is already terrifying the majority Democrat base, and the midterms are not looking good. According to new polling from Quinnipiac University, Joe Biden's approval rating is now at a paltry 33 percent. He went full Larry Bird. His job approval rating among Gen Z, you know, the youngins, is only 39 percent. They're turning on grandpa. He's swiftly losing support from his young voter base. His overall approving, approval among 18 to 34 year olds is only 21 percent. And now even the media can't deny it. 48 percent say that the cost of living is the most important issue facing America right now. It's by far the top issue and more than any other age group. You've been hearing about these problems with Biden, with young voters. Voters under 35, this important part of the Biden coalition, say this is the most important issue. And these folks think the economy is in worse shape than any other age group, folks under 35. Over bottom line, Americans see rising costs as the single sign of pending economic doom. Basically, the rent is too damn high. Among Hispanic voters, Biden's approval is a whopping 26%. It begs the question, who is supporting Biden these days? Joining me now is Kaylee McEnany, former White House press secretary and Fox News contributor. Kaylee, that is the question. Who are these 33 or 26 or 19% that still look at Joe and his outfit and say, man, I'm with him? Yeah, I'd like to know who they are because I, I certainly haven't met them. Pete, I talked to people, Democrat, Independent, Republican. No one will look you in the eye and tell you straightforwardly and earnestly, I support President Biden. He's doing a killer job. That just doesn't happen. You went through the numbers. I'd love to know the 33 percent. I think they must have just been pulling the liberal media because that's about all you got. Maybe not Chuck Todd based on the clip we just saw. Um, but yeah, it's an interesting question because I don't know those people. Yeah, for sure. Um, speaking of don't knowing, uh, today, yet again, Joe Biden was on stage. His speech ended, and we're not sure what happened next. Take a watch. God bless you all. You know, we could handle stuff like that if the policies were gangbusters, but it's that the policies are crushing the economy and, you know, law-abiding citizens, and he's getting lost on the stage. Yeah, with an invisible handshake. Um, I put up that video, and one, one person said back, I think he's trying to shake hands with his non-existent <laughs> supporters. And I'm like, that is a pretty good analogy for his presidency. This, of course, comes after the bird incident. They said it was corn on his shoulder, but looked very much like a bird had relieved itself on the shoulder of the president. Pete, though, I mean, he, this guy's getting a primary challenge. I had our brain room do some digging that when Reagan challenged Ford, the approval rating of Ford was 42 percent. When Carter was challenged by Ted Kennedy, his approval rating was 32 percent. President Biden, <laughs> invisible handshake with your non-existent supporters as the primary challengers are going to line up right beside you. Kaylee, you've been, you know, inside the White House and the media tried to dig for every little scrap they could of dissension or disagreement inside the Trump White House. What's happening behind closed doors right now when staffers close their doors and pull in a couple of the people that they know in the office and the conversation turns to Biden? What are they talking about? Well, they're all playing, you know, face to the president. They're all telling the president how great he is, I'm certain. But they, when they go to Ron Klain's office, the chief of staff, you have meetings with the chief of staff. I certainly did. I assume they have the same senior staff meetings. I'm sure there's panic. What can we do at this point? I mean, think about this. The, the war in Ukraine has not surfaced his poll numbers as they thought. A Supreme Court justice confirmation did not buoy his poll numbers as they thought. So what is left? I mean, there's not much more a president gets than an opportunity to lead during a wartime scenario or nominate a justice. I mean, there just simply isn't anything left. So I would think it's utter and sheer panic, especially when you see, Pete, 77 percent support among Democrats. President Trump was always in about the 90s for support among his own party. Mm -hmm. When you've lost your party to that degree, you've lost a lot. He still is, actually, amongst Republicans, to the chagrin of the Twitter class. Mm -hmm. uh, Kaylee McEnany, thanks so much for breaking it down.
Hi, everyone. I'm Brian Kilmeade. I want you to do me a favor. I want you to click to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page. This is the only way that I know for sure that you're not going to miss any great commentary, any great news bites, any great interviews coming your way on Fox. You can get it all here on YouTube. So subscribe right now.